Last time on Delightful Travelers, we made our way over to Bantayan Island here in the Philippines. This place is incredibly beautiful, has very few tourists, and was exactly what we were after. In this video, things aren't going quite as planned. I'm feeling under the weather, and it's putting a damper on some of our big plans. I'm Anna, and this is Trevor. In this series, we're back in the Philippines exploring more of this amazing country. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the like button so you don't miss a single video. A huge thanks to our channel members and patrons for making these videos possible. Welcome back to Bantayan. I'm on my way now. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button because that really helps us out. Today we're still in the Philippines. It's extremely, extremely hot and I'm not sure if you can tell that it might sound kind of funny. I somehow got a head cold. <laughs> so annoying. If you watched our last video, you know that we are in Bantai and we were hoping to go island hopping today. Not going to happen, but we're going to hopefully do some fun things. In the I know, time. I know. I didn't really feel like picking up the camera today. I was looking forward to going island hopping, but sometimes that's how it goes. We're going to try to still make the best of the day. You just might hear me sniffing a lot. <laughs> so to be completely honest, Trevor woke up this morning definitely not feeling his regular self, feeling a little down and out. Unfortunately, we really wanted to go island hopping and it's our last full day here, but we figured getting on a boat probably not the best idea. However, we're gonna grab some lunch. We've heard there's some really good beaches here on the main island, so we're gonna see if we can find them and hopefully we'll have some good luck. It already feels great to be outside. There's no way I thought I'd be out today, but just dragging myself out of bed, getting myself out of the, out of the house, <laughs> let's call it our house, our little apartment, and outside in the air, I feel, I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better, and I saw a glimpse of the beach, so I'm excited about that, but first we're gonna pick up some food. The place where we got our lunch from is one of our favorite favorite little spots in the town here. Now, we are on our way to the beach, but we did want to be honest with you guys today and just fire up the camera to show you that it's not always like, we don't always have perfect days. A lot of people say that we do sometimes, but there are days like this where we're under the weather and we were just talking. We're curious if other people have ever gotten sick on the road. I'm sure you have. I, and we obviously know it's way worse if you have like a one or two week vacation and you're sick for it. That's literally like the worst oh, thing the worst. ever. For us in general, it's not the end of the world, but it's more disappointing in places like this when we only have a few days. Yeah, so we it's almost like being on vacation. We also traveled quite a bit uh, to get up to this remote island to do a couple island hopping tours, but I can't do it. Like just, I don't feel up to it uh, with the boat ride, but yeah, we wanted to be honest and, and, and take you guys with us today and show you what we do when we're not feeling that good. We're about to go to this beautiful beach up here. Well, these are the beautiful beaches in the Philippines that we were expecting. Yeah, what's the motto for the Philippines? Isn't it like everything's better in the Philippines? Is that right? <laughs> I think it is that. It is, so I guess even being sick <laughs> is better in the Philippines than it is in other places because you can come to beaches like this. Yeah, and this is still right in town from where we're staying. Yeah. You guys saw it Easy in the walk. last video. But this is, uh, this is very, wow. very beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. You can see these really big boats kind of docked here and then you got this one as well. So how neat is this, huh? No one here. Nobody here at all. <laughs> I'm going to start taking some pictures because, oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this guy? So I'm going to take some pictures, probably be posting them on Instagram, which by the way, you should be following if you're not already. You might know that, you know, YouTube, we get a little bit behind. Sometimes it's a couple of weeks, sometimes it's a month or so. Sometimes it's only a few days, but that doesn't happen very often. But on Instagram, try to post stories here and there and they're in real time. So at least you can kind of see where we are you know, in real life. Well, we're just super happy that we're getting the gorgeous weather right now. I hope it stays. We have <laughs> had some nice mornings where it seems like it's going to be a gorgeous day and then in the afternoon it rains and clouds and it isn't so perfect. <laughs> Hopefully that's not today and we have an absolutely gorgeous day. Yeah, it just felt wrong in the last video to kind of show you guys the town and this amazing island. By the way, we're still on Ben Tayan Island and uh, yeah, we were hoping we'd get one day just to show you how beautiful yeah. it actually can be and oh my gosh, you guys, like, yeah. Look at this. I know, it's crazy. And I know for some people you might be like, well, you can enjoy it no matter what. If it's raining, if it's, it's, it's a beautiful place, no matter what. Absolutely, 100%, we would, would enjoy it either way. But for us <laughs> being vloggers, it's like we want to show it to you of course. in the beautiful light. Like, so you can see how gorgeous the beaches are. They just don't look the same <laughs> in the clouds. So it's not just a personal preference thing. No. It's like we want to show it to you looking and, glorious. I mean, how many people prefer a rainy day over a sunny day? Not that many. I know there's some of you though. <laughs> 
Well, we found a perfect little spot. It's a little crowded, a little crowded <laughs> around here. Just, just kidding. It's actually perfect. We have this beautiful view of the water. We're gonna eat our lunch, lie in the sand on our towels, and just enjoy the sunshine. Hopefully some vitamin D will help. I know we said we grabbed some lunch, but I don't know if we said exactly what we got. We got some falafel wraps, something that I haven't seen too much around the Philippines, so it's kind of an exciting thing. Hopefully it tastes just as good. Let's try it. It's been a while since I've had a falafel. I can't even tell you the last time, so it's like refreshing to have something a little bit different. There's some interesting flavors going on here. Kind of like that, I don't even know what you want to call them, that like cinnamon clove nutmeg thing happening. This could be a yummy little beach lunch. It's kind of funny, when you're not feeling good, I think a falafel wrap is kind of the last thing you would <laughs> you would go for. You'd look for like comfort food and things like that, but for some reason, I read it in the menu and it sounded like it would be good. It's also the first thing uh, we're, we're eating today, and it's like close to 1.30 in the afternoon. So I don't know why we did that, but maybe this will give me some energy. Mm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, that's gonna help. One thing I really appreciated about that wrap is uh, they didn't have like sugar in the wrap. Oh, we got a little friend coming. Oh, hello. 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 There are a lot of dogs around here. <laughs> What's your hello. name? You're cute. Probably, we, we were just saying, if, you, if we had a dog, you could have ate the, the leftovers. <laughs> Yeah, the wraps were really filling, so we almost didn't use the whole thing. Filipino dogs seem to like us. Yeah, <laughs> you, you might remember in El Nido, we had a, a great little uh, uh, dog that would come mm -hmm. say hi. Look at like how happy she oh, looks. Oh hello. my, hello. hello. Well, what I was trying to say before we got interrupted by this beautiful Cutie. little, uh, beautiful little girl. In the Philippines, if you didn't know, food can be very sugary. <laughs> and what the, I bread, mean, the bread especially. The bread, yeah. So uh, what I mean by that, and you might be wondering like why I said I appreciate there was no sugar. Last time I had a wrap here, which was just a few days ago, there was sugar in the wrap. Uh, you can't you see it. You had a burger too. And I had a burger. I couldn't even eat it because... The burger bun actually, yeah. It's yeah. super sweet. Like the burger bun, uh, a, a local here described it, well uh, he's an expat but he's lived here for a while. It's, the, the bread's almost mm -hmm. like cake. Uh, so I have a hard time with Filipino bread. This girl is just, just like, like joining us. She's like making herself at home. Gonna come have a cuddle. <laughs> but yeah, just on in general in the Philippines, it is tricky um, to eat healthy. Just know that if you were never here before, uh, we find that it's hard to find like sandwiches. Maps. Yeah, just to go to go food is often really challenging. The the drive from Cebu City to the ferry was like three hours, so we just wanted to get something easy to eat in on the way there. And oh my goodness, it was so hard to find just like a pre-made sandwich, something not too unhealthy, not something that's not heated up in advance. It just doesn't seem to exist anywhere. Whereas in like other parts of the world, not everywhere, but other parts, you know, you can just walk in anywhere and kind of grab like a sandwich that's already made that's easy to eat on the road. We didn't want anything fried. What I will say though, what is easy to find around here if you want to do some healthy things, is fresh fruit. Oh, it's so good here. Yes, I think it was yesterday morning we went out for breakfast and had a each had like a huge bowl of fruit salad and it was the yummiest thing ever. So that's one thing you can do if you're trying to stay healthy, obviously is eat lots of fruit. Well, this is my kind of beach. Does it get more beautiful than this? I'm gonna be gushing a lot today, but it's white, white, white sand, clearest water you can possibly imagine. The Philippines has the best beaches in the world. You cannot beat them. So if you're wondering and wanting to find a spot, it's actually called Sugar Beach. Some people told us to go to a beach called Sendira, I think it's called, or Paradise Beach. It's a little farther away outside of town and you need to get, take a tuk-tuk or a motorbike to get there. And we heard it's a little bit hard to find if you don't have someone to show you. But I don't know, I'm just happy right here. This is, like I just said, my total kind of beach. It's calm, it's clear. You can just float around in the water all day. It's not wavy. Oh, this is perfection. This day actually turned out okay. Well, speaking of floating in the water, this is great. This is very buoyant, by the way. No hands, no feet, but when you're not feeling that well, like I am, this is very refreshing. So glad we uh, made it out the door today. Digging this place, I'm really digging this place. We're finally getting to see some of those Filipino beaches that we came here for. You guys probably noticed the cool boat behind me as well. It's just really neat. Like we've been going around Southeast Asia now uh, for like the past three, four, five months. And you get to see all the different kinds of boats. The Thai boats are very different than the Filipino boats. But yeah, we remember these from the five months that we were here in the past. And if you didn't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know by now, but we got stuck here in the Philippines when uh, the lockdown, the pandemic happened for like five months on a different island. That happened.
just like that the weather has uh, taken taken a little bit of a turn it's not raining at least but <laughs> the uh, the sun is gone for now anyway but we were just talking a little bit more here about being well sick I don't know if you can tell by my voice like I said sick on the road I have a bad head cold as I said earlier but uh, I think it's inevitable like we travel a lot and it's bound to happen and Spoiler alert, it does happen to us. <laughs> it does, and, I, and the, I guess the thing is that we're always going through like airports, using public transit, in a lot of restaurants. Like I guess we're just in yeah. general around a lot of <clears throat> random people all the time. So I guess you're maybe more likely to get sick because of that. Mm -hmm. Unless, you, you know, for a lot of people you probably might not come in contact with that many different people all the time. I've already been sick twice in the last few months. In November I got a cold. And then in January, I got another one. Thankfully, they weren't that bad, and he didn't catch them, so I'd better not catch this one from him. We've also <laughs> been taking zinc when we started to feel sick. Does anyone else do that? Yeah. I feel like maybe it helps a little bit. Who has uh, any ideas on what to do before you get sick, the, the preventive stuff? So zinc, I think, has been working. This mm -hmm. time, I clearly missed it. It's funny, we, when we uh, got here to this island, I thought I had like allergies or something all of a sudden, you know, like hay fever, spring allergies. So that's what it felt like. <laughs> Nope, full-blown cold. One other thing that I've been having, or I guess it's been an issue lately, is with my eyes, my contact lenses specifically. A few weeks ago, they just started getting like really blurry, so I can't even wear them. I went for eye tests. It turns out my prescription has changed a fair bit, so they wrote me a new prescription. And I also have like, I tend to get dry eyes, so I didn't know if it was related to that, but I don't think so at this point, because they shouldn't be too dry. I've been using drops and everything. So I think the issue is the prescription change. However, gonna get new glasses, which are fine anyway, but they can't seem to order in the contact lenses uh, that I want. <laughs> I basically have like astigmatism and they can't get the right kind. I've tried a whole bunch of different companies, it just seems impossible. So I'm basically walking around right now, no contacts in, I can't see far away, so <laughs> that's fun. Maybe, maybe we have some optometrists, some <laughs> subscribers uh, that you guys might know what's going on with our eyes, because this kind of started uh, out of the blue. And it's extra tricky to get that figured out while we're, especially not in our own country. But yeah, especially just not not having access to different types of contact lenses. I'm surprised because yeah. they often you'll, you'll see it on someone's website, and then I'll contact them and like, no, we can't get them. <laughs> Again, so I mean, we are uh, complaining about this. I know you, we're going to get comments in this video no matter what, but we're trying to keep it real for you guys. Yeah, this is just some of the issues <laughs> that you come across when you travel full time, when you're not going home every couple of weeks or every couple of months, and you have to try to get stuff on the road it can happen realities of travel but it's not spoiling our trip you can see we're still having a great time even when i'm sick and she can't see hello can i get an iced americano yeah sure. yeah just one i need a coffee right now i know it's not good when your uh, coffee's not great when you're feeling not so hot but i just had a juice that you guys did not see and now i need something to pick me up and keep me awake and how cute is this little coffee shop by the way there are loads of these coffee shops and juice places in the Philippines so that makes us really happy it's really easy to get a good drink and the coffee is spot-on as well I'll try really quick for you guys Ooh. yeah I like it price wasn't too bad it was uh, 85 Filipino pesos we'll put the dollar amount on the screen I think as we usually as we usually do but yeah we're really happy about the drink selection the food selection we like we just would like if we could find a few more healthy options that's it just a little more healthy options funny enough they must have heard me talking a few minutes ago I just got a whatsapp message from another uh, contact company that I would contact lens company I should say that I've been talking to over whatsapp and I did, it didn't seem like it was gonna work out but they just told me to place an order I think they're out of Singapore or something it sounds a little bit complicated so I'm not gonna hold my breath but hopefully hopefully it'll work out and I'll get new contacts soon it's interesting how you communicate on WhatsApp here. Yeah, I love that. I think that it's great for people like us who don't have regular phone numbers or it switches all the time. So WhatsApp is a great way. Our number stays the same and we can uh, stay in contact with people. So Anna just mentioned SIM cards and phones. And now you guys always ask us, like, what do we do for SIM cards when we are traveling the world? We used to fly into a country and get a SIM card either at the airport or in say the city, wherever you're flying into, but we all know that could take a good chunk out of your day and sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle, it's just not so straightforward. We've been using eSIMs lately and we're just all about these eSIMs. Basically, we don't have a SIM card in this phone right now. There's an eSIM just built inside certain Android phones, certain iPhones, I think it's iPhone 12 and up or something like that. And 
the name threw us off at first, eSIM. We were trying to figure out like what it is. It's just basically a label. Really, there's just a SIM card inside the phone that you can use. It's awesome. I think actually SIM cards are just going to go away in a few years if I had to guess, especially if Apple keeps uh, putting them in there, which I think they plan to do. But the app we're using is called Airlo, Air Alo, and it just changed the game for us. Basically, you just kind of open the app, you pick what country you're going to, and then you just add some money onto it, and then voila, it just magically works. It's incredible. There's also regional ones too, so right now we have an Asia pack on. This is not sponsored or anything like that. It's actually just one of the pro tips from us. It's, it's a super hack if you're traveling. We do have a link. It's one of those ones. Uh, it's like a friends link. We'll put it in the description if you guys uh, want to try it out, but um, we just recommend it. Uh, I don't know how travelers go without this. Since we've discovered eSIMs, it just changed the game entirely for us with travel and our phones. Well, it turned out to be a great day after all. I am glad that I actually got out of bed and made it outside of the house because I did not want to at first and yeah sometimes it's just it's good to do that and we want to turn on the camera just show you guys what a day that we thought wasn't going to go so well. Funny enough I it's think like, it's raining. But <laughs> it's rain's going now. Is it? So typical. At least today turned out way better than I hoped for expected. We hopefully distracted him a little bit while we yeah. feeling Feeling that's sick that's the best when you're not feeling well distractions are really nice already the day is uh, mostly over and you know getting through it hopefully the next time you guys see us in a video we're gonna be oh, back in tip-top shape I hope so you better <laughs> not give this to me oh no if I do I apologize in advance but you guys are probably wondering where we're going next mm -hmm. we're obviously we're still gonna be in the Philippines yeah, again. yes we're going to a different island around it's still sticking around as we said before around the Cebu area so we're gonna be in book I don't know if I know how to Bahol. say it. Bahol. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering, we're going to Bahol. We don't have it entirely planned out, but it looks like there's some amazing place, places that have just said hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're really, really stoked about that. So if you guys have any recommendations, let us know. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in Cebu at some point as well. I don't know if there'll be a vlog, but any recommendations yeah. at all, please let us know. Mm -hmm. And I think that's basically it. We're going to go, we might go take a nap. <laughs> We'll head out later, hopefully it'll stay it's not too bad, it's only a little bit raining it's right now. It's definitely raining a bit more, but if you're new here, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. Thanks for tuning in, hit the like button, it helps us out, click subscribe, you guys know the drill, but yeah, nap time for me. Alright guys, that's it. <laughs> From Ben Tai and wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.